alongside Stephen Simcox, who went, uh, we had to flip Stephen and Pierre uh, again last week because Stephen had dad duty, or this week. Stephen had dad duty, and you went uh, on a first grade field trip to a pumpkin patch. Yes, sure yeah. did. Yeah. Fun time. Elementary school teachers are angels on earth. <laughs> God bless them. <laughs> You should run around with 22 first graders, and I'm like, you guys do this every day. That's wild. You, but you have one first grader, correct? I have one first grader. One first grader, and it feels like a lot, probably. Yeah, it feels like a lot. And, I mean, this was at a place where they're outside. Like, it's the perfect environment for them. Yeah. We're outside in an open space. They can run around. They can knock into each other. It's not like a big thing. But still, it was like, man, this is a lot of... A lot of little people that we got to take care of <laughs> with a lot of needs. So, shout yeah. out to them. But, yeah, it was fun. It's it's hot here in Texas, Paul. It doesn't yeah. feel like fall. I mean, it never does, really. No. We get, but, we get like, a, like a day of fall. Yeah. Like a, like a good day where it's like, you know, it could be like this. Mm -hmm. But not, not for long. It's not going to be, yeah. Yeah, we get – we have, like, uh, two complete seasons here. Mm -hmm. And it's summer and then one-third of everything else. That's a good call. Yeah, we get like – we get a snap of winter every year. Yeah. Which now it seems like it's gotten more intense. I don't like, yeah, like winter – winter feels like it's been ignored yes. for too long. So it knows it's only here for, a you know – Like a two weeks Like or a something. two-week run. So it's playing all the hits. Like <laughs> – you know, <laughs> it's doing it's doing 18 shows in Vegas in 14 <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah, exactly. It's like, let's just do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as as soon as it gets off, you know, wipes its face off, takes a quaalude, goes back out there. <laughs> there the rent is due. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still like 90 degrees outside. But we we had fun and I'm glad to be here, Paul, because uh, we're like in the middle of the college football season now. It's we're smack in the middle of it. Six yeah. weeks in. Um, there are some really cool things happening. There are some really tragic things happening. You and I are now members of an elite support group. Mm -hmm. That is teams that got boat raced at Gerald Ford Stadium. Yeah, it's an elite crew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, uh, at least you did not have to, which I did yesterday. I had to talk to Kevin Jennings on the show. We had Kevin mm -hmm. Jennings on the show yesterday. It does feel like confronting the guy who just beat you up in the on the playground. Okay, remember when you punched me in the face? <laughs> hey, uh, look, I'm just saying, I, I forgive you. <laughs> Let me just say, it, you know, in, in, in life and in sports, I'm, I'm not much of a trash talker. Yeah. But I spent a lot of this offseason talking about SMU. Because uh -huh. honestly, Paul, I thought they were a safe team to talk about. Like, of, <laughs> of all the teams. I... I did not. Garrett, I, I very carefully did not. Yeah, you were very, you knew what to expect. Well, one, we have a professional relationship. Uh, two, two, uh, and even more importantly, this was their first ACC game. So if Florida State had yeah. rolled in 4 0, I was still going to be nervous. Yeah, that's you know? fair. Like, I it just, that's, there was a lot like, and again, they rolled it out for it. I mean, it was, it was pomp and circumstance, you know. They did. And I mean, they've, they've, they look good right now. Like, I, I gave them a hard time about basically being Lori Loughlin and just kind of paying their way into a yeah. power conference, but they've backed it up with good football. And, yeah, I think they've – credit to Lashley, like Preston Stone was supposed to be the dude. Yeah. And mid – not really midseason, but after about four games, he was like, okay, the offense is functioning better with Jennings. Like, we got to roll to him. And, um, yeah, now they're playing at a high level. So, watch out ACC. I mean, they look like a legit contender there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, freaking lutely I, wow. You were there. Were you there live? Oh, yes. Okay. I was there. I was there. I wasn't, saw it. Wasn't a top 10 experience in your in your life? As far as watching the game, no. But I'll tell you, the the Boulevard tailgating scene, everything was pretty cool there. So, you know. They've, yeah, they've upgraded a lot. I think yeah. they've, they heard the complaints, and to their credit, like they put the work in to improve the experience. Well, here's the thing. They can't ever, like, which is one of the things, like, Here's the the end of it. Like they've got some fans that are really loud about how much money they have, mm -hmm. you know, and that's fine. There's a lot of it, but like that in particular, like hey, um, we have the money to do this now. <laughs> like we yeah. always have, but we've been restricted by these things. So we've got the money to do this. Well, um, they can't like they can't be like, well, we just don't have the budget to do this, and because some somebody that's always bragging about the money is like. 
what's the budget? <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, we need this, 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 and this. Oh, is that all? Talk to Carl. He'll set you up. <laughs> Carl, do this. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. <laughs> and then and then when he shows up and, like, it's done, he's like, this, well, thank you. You know, I appreciate this. We did a lot of hard work on this. And Carl's like, God, this is all me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like, it's hard to grasp their alumni base. I mean, everybody has rich alumni. Like, yeah. everybody has your couple people. That, but like, they're, they live in the richest ne- neighborhood that's in yes. Dallas proper. Like, the school does. They have private island money. Well, they have, like, pay off the DA money. Yeah. Like, that type of cash like, just lying Jerry around. Jones lives in that neighborhood. You know, like, that's right. That's who lives in that neighborhood. I think he does well. Yeah. He's, he's doing fine. <laughs> he's doing good. You know, they did. They rolled out. George W. Bush did the coin toss. Mm-hmm. Which means that next year when they come to FSU, we've got to roll out Jeb. <laughs> the most low energy coin toss of all time. <laughs> Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> we got heads, we got tails, boys. <laughs> there's there's a reason one of them was charismatic enough to be president. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I'll say this: I loved Jeb Bush when he was the governor in Florida. Uh, he was actually the first person I ever voted for. Uh, when I turned 18, I voted for Jeb Bush. So, yeah, that was uh, that was my first big vote was Jeb. He came to my high school a couple times, met him, you know, yeah. Oh, how politics have changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now, could you imagine, <laughs> like, going to a high school kid and being like, hey, um, J.D. Vance is here. You want to give him a tour? And you'd be like, <laughs> if I got to. <laughs> hey, uh, could you uh, – you excited about uh, about Senator Chuck Schumer walking around here? <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders is here. Want to give him a tour? What are these? <laughs> they have computers in the classrooms? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. School lunches used to cost a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> a dime so. would get you two fudge rounds. <laughs> <laughs> we... We had a bus that ran on steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, Stephen, uh, there are a couple things I do want to get to. Funny things uh, I found uh, in the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, Garrett, uh, which one? Which one are you going to do first? So, the first we have are teams that Ashton Gente has rushed more. Okay. Okay. See, these these are teams that Ashton Gente uh, has rushed for more yards in on this. Um, on this young season here, um, and uh, let me pull it up. I can't list them all, but that is insane. Yeah, it's a it's a big list. Wow, my team is on there. All three of our team team is on there. On there. Yep. Yeah, all three of our teams are on there. Although that's I don't know if that's uh, necessarily like a badge of honor, like to be. No, <laughs> no it's not. not. But the crazy thing is, like, there's teams on there that, like BYU, is a good team that part of their identity is running the football. I mean, that's what that's what they want to do, you know? Um, Minnesota kind of the same way. Like, there's a lot of teams on that graphic that it's not just teams that are bad. Like, he's he's killing it. And that tape, did they play Washington State this past week? Was that their opponent, yeah. Boise State? Yeah. Somebody, you know, compiled, like, all his runs. That tape is ridiculous, man. I mean, he's just shaking people left and right. He's bouncing off tacklers. If you haven't had a chance to watch Boise this year, just he's worth the price of admission. I mean, yeah. you know, just like put your TV on that and watch him go because he's an old school type of workhorse back that we don't really see anymore. Yeah. Oklahoma's on that list. Uh, Cal. Cal has Jay Knott. They're on that list. Oklahoma State has Ollie Gordon and they're on the list. I know they haven't run the ball like they wanted to. but No, I mean, but that's the thing. It's like Ollie Gordon's team, Jaden Ott's team, um, for Clemson, Phil Moffat's team is on there. Phil Moffat's a good, good, very good running back. Um, most of the Big 12, I think, is on there right now. <laughs> most of everybody. It feels like a pretty big list. So A lot of the power four, power five, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Mizzou on that list. I mean, there's Georgia. Georgia's on that list. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, Air That's Force true. runs the option. Air Force runs the triple option. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's a wild one. Okay, next up, 
This is the most obscure basketball team uh, that each Big 12 team has played. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go through this list with you, Stephen, um, because it is hilarious to me. Um, here we go. This is from Texas Football Life. Arizona in 1941 had a 57-39 to 39 win versus Lily Ice Cream. So here's what I learned from this list, not to spoil it. But a lot of companies were just hooping up with, oh. with colleges back in the day. Yeah. It was like intramurals. It was like, hey, Dan from accounting, like, ball up top. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. We're playing Nebraska this week. But so. Yeah, a little ice cream. Okay. So congratulations to Arizona on that win. Arizona State lost 21-20 to versus Jerome High School in 1924. Barn burner. A, a low point. Low point, I'm sure, in the Sun Devils basketball history. They still had peach baskets in 1921? Probably. It was probably pretty close to it. For Baylor in 1939, they lost to Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 41 to 36. So the Dr. Pepper bottling plant, if you've never been to Waco, Dr. Pepper was invented here. Uh, you can go on a really fun tour yep. of the self-guided. Um, costs about 10 bucks a person, I think. But you can go through the, uh, the Dr. Pepper Museum and the original bottling plant. Um, and so that was here. And they had a basketball team that was better than an, a national champ eventually. So, Yeah, I've, I've lost some battles to Dr. Pepper in my day. <laughs> you know, hypertension, <laughs> stress. When I go somewhere and they have Mr. Pib instead, <laughs> yeah. which is just like, just shut down your business. Yeah. Or are you even trying? Yeah. Don't put Mr. Pib in here. <laughs> yeah. Like when, I think Mr. Pib is made by Coca-Cola, I believe. Is it really? I think I it know. is. What? Yeah. I believe it is. So like okay. when Coca-Cola comes in and like, we would like to put Mr. Pib in here. Like, look, why? Come on. Dr. Pepper has a PhD. Yeah. I don't know about Mr. Pib's education. He probably but, dropped out of Community college or something. I, I, I did he even get there? <laughs> just hanging out with his bros, just making knockoff Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in places where they don't know about his it. His mother's probably, you'll never be like, you'll never be like the Pepper boy. Mm -hmm. He went to medical school. <laughs> You're just sitting here trying to rip him off. I used to get frustrated. I thought I, 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 thought I was better than this. I raised a two-bit scam artist. <laughs> I think we finally <laughs> broke the barrier at movie theaters, but that used to be a thing that would make me mad is I'd get... Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, Paul, you get a soda at the movie theater, you're paying like six bucks. Yeah. I'm not paying six bucks for Pib. No. No. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But congratulations to Dr. Pepper on their big win against yeah. Baylor back in the day. I'd like to see Scott Drew and company lace it up against, <laughs> against the Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper factory right now. Yeah. For BYU, this is a, a butt kicking, too. A 49-25 loss to Piggly Wiggly grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a tough one. <laughs> We're off the records when Piggly Wiggly and BYU get together. Yeah. yeah. Piggly Wiggly mm -hmm. does sound like a whole... Are there still Piggly Wigglies around? All across the South. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, in Tallahassee forever, there was a knockoff convenience store. The guy called Hogly Wogly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Is it a full on? Is it was it like, right. It was right by Dope Campbell Stadium. It was like right, right there. Is it a full on grocery store or just like a Piggly Wiggly is a full on grocery store? It's like a Win Dixie. Yeah. Okay. Like Win Dixie. It's like Win Dixie. Yeah. yeah. You know what I miss? Kmart. Is Kmart I, still with us? No. Okay. No. R.I.P. I, I don't. I don't. Listen. I used to work at Target. Yeah. Yeah. Red Circle for life. Oh, that's like <laughs> oh, like gang wars, yeah. like t territory. Yeah. yeah. They they brainwash you too. Like you watch like when the training, they'll like you'll watch training videos and they'll like, in, especially in two thousand and one when I worked there, Kmart was still around. So it was very much like a section on Kmart slander and a section on Walmart slander. And yeah, yeah. I sure did brainwash you because I said Kmart and you gave me a cold response. Well, I'm just telling you right You're now, like like I was asking you for a kiss. Is there or a, something. is there a Kmart field? No, there's a Target field. Damn it, yeah. Go twins. We're the we're we're the elite. That's right. You survived. Yeah. Take that, Kmart. You, you know why? Because we made deals with people like Chip and Joe and Oprah. Mm, that's true. Yeah. 
K- and, and Kmart's rolling out the Mickey Rourke collection of sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Kmart can never hoop either. That's why Piggly Wiggly's still around. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, for for UCF, a 94-79 win versus the Orlando Gators in, okay, what year? What year do you think this was? 92? No, 1970. Oh, okay. 1970. But still, even into the 70s, we're still doing this. Uh, for Cincinnati, a 39-14 to loss versus Goodyear in 1935. Take a break from those tires, boys. We've got to go play. We've got to play. We got to put a wampin on those we gotta, on those Bearcats. We got to run the four corners offense against Cincinnati this afternoon. Yeah, for Colorado in 1909, a 76 to 10 win over Leadville High School. <laughs> like Leadville, sound like they just sound like in the story. Like just so you know, they're slow. <laughs> I feel like I know this is basketball. But I feel like Dion is maybe the most likely coach that would still schedule a high school if it was allowed. <laughs> Prime prep right there. Like just Travis Hunter, one hand catching over some <laughs> poor Colorado high school. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Obviously, that game in 1909 didn't help the city. No. <laughs> probably tanked it, honestly. Yeah. Um, the University of Houston. 53-49 win versus Brook Army Medical Center. That was a tight one. Yeah. Yeah. Brook Army Medical Center in 1949 had seen some stuff now. That's, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So, yeah. They were just taking an afternoon off. <laughs> yeah. Trying to f- forget some of those images they've seen. Yeah. Okay, Iowa State. A 21-11 win versus Fort Dodge YMCA in 1921. <laughs> I wonder if they played at the YMCA. <laughs> Maybe. Clear it Road out. game. The clones are here. Yeah. Got a game. Yeah. Um, for Kansas, a 28-26 loss. So it was close to Hilliard Chemical Company in 1924. Hilliard Chemical running out of the tunnel, seeing yeah. the beware of the fog sign. Yeah. Uh, this was like 1924. I mean, here's the deal. They... James Naismith was there in 1924. That's true. So he's probably furious. he was the and that would have been furious. Like every game I coached, if I was James Naismith, like guys, I invented this yeah. shit. I we cannot lose. I like what? Like you know how bad it makes me look that I, the inventor of this, like do you think do you think we'll just walk into Edison's house and tell him how to turn on light bulbs? No, I didn't string a basket up on a you know. Net there for you guys to lose to chemical companies. <laughs> yeah. Rough scene. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I just have a feeling. Like I, we did this before. It was like most ki- games were like invented by like drunk dudes. Like you can just see like Dr. James Mason like, I got to come up with something. <laughs> hey, uh, take that and nail it to that pole. Somebody give me a round ball. Yeah. It's a ball. You got a volleyball? All right. Throw it in there. And then, like, three, you know, a couple of years later, like, you know what we should do? We should cut the bottom out of the basket. We have to keep going up there. Yeah. I get so annoyed every time somebody got a bucket. Like, man, I got to go up there again. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Steve. Do you imagine, like, the UNLV running Revels playing in those rules? Like, just every every seven seconds, the Jander's climbing a ladder again, yeah. trying to get that ball out? Yeah. All right. Uh, for Kansas State, a 23-18 loss. This is my favorite one of the whole one. It's pretty one. good. Just to dentists in 1907. <laughs> just a group of dentists. They lost. Not a single practice. Just, <laughs> just like the dentists from they, around yeah, Manhattan. They put an ad in the they newspaper. They put five, five dentists together. <laughs> they said, lost. are you a dentist? Can you come hoop? <laughs> five out of five dentists agree. <laughs> they lost to dentists. They, they lost to dentists. Oh, man. 23 to, to 18, 1907. So. Jerome's hanging these to recreate that. Get the, <laughs> get the Kansas City dentist out there. Yeah. So, um, in 1948, Oklahoma State destroyed Ecuador, <laughs> 77 to 30. International conflict. <laughs> yeah. We go to Stillwater, Oklahoma. <laughs> we play the basketball. <laughs> I think we need to send the team back to Ecuador and just send Mike Gundy. I would have. I would love a Mike Gundy travel show. Like, let's just get Mike Gundy in Ecuador for a few days. <laughs> Just let him meet some of the locals. Yeah. Try some of the cuisine. Yeah. When can we, his first question is when we're going fishing. <laughs> How's the fishing like down here? Um, okay. TCU. Ooh, Steven. 
I mean, it's a win. It's a win. That's and this sounds there. very much like a TCU thing in 1924. They have a 35-32 win versus the Sunday School All-Stars. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> I, was, I was a Sunday School All-Star, I think. I was pretty good in Sunday School. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get invited to the basketball team, though. Yeah. Okay. Um, Texas Tech. This is, this is very on the nose for West Texas. They had a 38-36 win versus Phillips 66 in 1940. <laughs> <laughs> just trading trading oil secrets yeah get out there and hoop for utah a eh, this is uh pretty interesting they beat uh brooklawn creamery a dairy in 1934 39 31 i'm telling you we need to bring back companies just getting after it yeah just playing ball yeah go schedule some local colleges could you, could you imagine like I mean, like, look, these guys have really strong hands. It's from all the milking. I it's know. Like, that's the, <laughs> that's the I, thing. I, I, we haven't gotten a steal the whole game. It's just like. <laughs> like, apparently the apparently the uh, ice cream market's cornered. Lillian's ice cream, the yeah. like creamery. Yeah. Have you ever seen that picture of those Amish kids that always go play pickup ball and they can, like, really hoop? They're yeah. hooping out there in jeans. It's crazy. Yeah. They're just so strong, I guess. Yeah. When they get done milking cows, they're just shooting it around. Or, uh, you know, like raising a barn. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is, this is, and alphabetically this worked out, but this is the worst one. Okay. West Virginia is the only team we haven't talked about. In 1907, they lost 53-5 to five against Smith Skating Rink. <laughs> Man, you don't know. They had some shooters at Smith Skating Rink. You think they, they were on, just on skates? <laughs> they were spreading the floor. <laughs> just on roller back, skates. Yeah, on roller time. skates. <laughs> doing circles around them. <laughs> That's before they had the rules. Like, yeah. everybody's got to wear shoes. Like, what are we supposed to do? They're just they're just going. Puggy Bear was out there and be like, am I drunk or are those boys on roller skates right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been more hilarious if it was, like, 2015. <laughs> I'm trying to press these boys, and they're just skating right past me. <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of Sonic car hops. <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. When we come back, 